So will the Canadian Bank or Bank of Canada, will they cut interest rates a third time in a row? I don't remember the last time I've seen, I, I remember the, uh, the Bank of Canada cutting rates three times. But then again, I didn't remember a time when the Bank of Canada would raise rates almost, I think it was 10 times uh, over a course of about uh, a year, just over a year, year and a half. So will they cut rates for a third time? And I think that all depends. You know, we just received, as I mentioned off top of the show, the uh, just yesterday, the CPI reading came in at 2.5%. I think we have our first chart, which, uh, which shows that. And when you compare uh, the, there it is, the CPI reading of 2.5% to the Bank of Canada rate, which is 4.5%, almost double, there's a lot of room to cut rates. You couple that with other things such as productivity, which we'll talk about in a second, and other slowdown in, in GDP in general, uh, the bank has perhaps a, uh, a good reason to cut rates for a third time in a row. Our next chart shows what, uh, what they've been doing, the Bank of Canada has been doing over the last little while. You can see there's been two cuts there. There it is, Bank of Canada rate, rate policy, policy rates. You can see the last two uh, quarter point cuts. You can see the chart on the left uh, clearly shows this. And uh, it, it's good because you, you can really gauge what the Bank of Canada feels they need to do. Bank of Canada has been talking about uh, this whole slowdown in the economy, how we're just skirting by uh, in terms of uh, a recession, not falling into a recession, but we are pretty close. I think last GDP numbers were less than 2%, you know, just above 1%. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that we're bringing in a lot of people to, to the country. They are spending money. And that is why we seem to be, or seem not to have fallen into a recession. But if you look at, uh, I guess, growth on a per capita basis, when you look at it on a per person basis, you could make the case that we actually could be in a recession. And the only reason why GDP is positive is because of the amount of uh, amount of people that have come to our country and that are spending money here, amount of immigrants that have been brought to our country. So will the Bank of Canada cut rates? Um, keep in mind, jobs growth. If you're looking at jobs data, we've seen two negative numbers, negative jobs. So meaning losing jobs uh, in Canada over the past couple of months. There are some provinces like Ontario that have managed to still grow jobs. But for the most part, the country as a whole, has been losing jobs. So jobs are being lost. GDP is flat at best. Uh, productivity, something that the Bank of Canada talks about all the time, that has slowed. We are the worst out of all the major G7 nations in terms of productivity. We're not being productive. A lot of reasons for that possibly, which perhaps we can get into another time, but overall the productivity is just not there in our country. So with all that said, slowing of jobs, and obviously, inflation coming down to 2.5%, almost reaching target, productivity down. This is, I think, a reason why you could see a third rate cut in a row by the Bank of Canada. I know all the major banks are calling for uh, another rate cut. They're looking to see perhaps uh, one rate cut in September and at least one more rate cut uh, by before the end of this year. Uh, to bring the, uh, the Bank of Canada rate down to about 4%. Right now it's 4.5%. So we're looking at shaving off 50 basis points by the end of the year. And uh, yeah, I think this would uh, definitely spur on more activity. It would definitely help the banks, uh, help uh, individuals with their, their, their loan payments, their mortgage payments. Uh, obviously, prime rate is still pretty high in that 6.7% range. If you uh, cut another 50 basis points, by the end of the year, you're now getting closer to 6%. And then you could see maybe as many as four more cuts next year. So will the Bank Canada cut rates? I think they will. I think they will cut for a third time. There really is no reason for them to remain on hold, especially when the gap between the Bank of Canada rate and where uh, inflation is right now is, is 2%. They have a lot of room, a lot of room to cut interest rates. And I think you will see a rate cut in the first week of September.